Hi, I'm Nick with Kentucky Spins. Today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about employment and my experiences with it. So a little bit about myself first. I have autism and that has given me my own difficulties with seeking employment ever since leaving high school. I've worked a few jobs over the past few years since I left high school and they have all had their challenges. So there's a lot of, I've had a lot of issues with things like proper communication with my employer, my boss, etc. And there have been times where I've had trouble during interviews. My thing is that I would always, so for, so for the first few times that I would interview for a job, I'd always be really open and explain them that I had a disability and I would always tell them that. And I got self-conscious because there were times when I wouldn't get jobs and I thought it might have been because I had a disability. So there was a time after that when I didn't do that, when I, when I didn't tell people that I had a disability and that didn't really affect it either. There's still jobs that I didn't get, even though I didn't say anything about having a disability. It might just been because of how I interviewed. There have been other things. But then I eventually kind of got to the point where I decided to just being very open about it. Um, it's hard to give the best advice on if you should be open about your disability or if you shouldn't be, because ideally there's not supposed to be any kind of discrimination if you do have a disability and are you applying for a job. But unfortunately, there are people who will still discriminate against you for that regardless. So I'm just open about it anyway. I always, every time I have interviewed for a job, I've always been open and honest and told them I have, I have autism. But I'm also very open about the challenges that I have with that disability. I don't just tell them that I have autism. I tell them that I have what I have my struggles with. Like I might have struggles with communicating sometimes or I might get distracted easily because I also have ADHD. So sometimes I have trouble paying attention or focusing and I've been open and I've been able to explain to them during an interview that while I do have autism and, I, and there are struggles that I do have, I explain, I've explained to them what works for me. And I'll, and for example, things like having a calendar, having regular reminders on my phone for when I'm supposed to do certain things at work, when I have certain tasks that need to be completed, I have an app that manages all those things for me. And that has been an example of something that's helped me. And that's, that might not necessarily help you, but it's good to, when you're applying for an interview, if you, and you have a disability, it's good to know what challenges you face with that disability. And also to be aware of what helps you manage or cope or support your disability at the workplace. And to be, if you are gonna share a disability, to be completely honest with your coworkers or your boss that comes up. You don't have to tell them if you don't want to, it's completely personal. But if you do, it's important to be honest with them about how it is, how it affects you, how it works, and what they can do to better support you. And that personally, for me, has helped me with getting the job, as well as being effective in the workplace after getting the job. Visit kyspin.com for more information.